Today, Sunday, the 8th of September, 2024, we have some hand-picked match predictions to share with you, which will be backed up by some stats and analytics to help you make your picks in this list to boost your winning by a greater percent. And to those of you who want to have access to our top 10 1.5 and 2.5 goal match picks, which we have just shared to members only, as well as our top picks for corner kick match prediction events, which we have also shared to our members only, then of course, you want to make sure that you subscribe to the Level 2 Pro Membership Package Plan and start to have access to all our hand-picked match prediction events to take your winning to the next level. The link is below this video description. You can easily click on it and join and start to have access to all of these features and start to see our best pick predictions based on top 10, 1.5 and 2.5 goals and corner kicks. So without wasting time, I'm going to begin with the first event of our today's list. Looking at the first match prediction picks, we are looking at Czech Republic in the second league women. This is the fourth round of this tournament, a match between Hadrek, that is Klalov, women playing against Prague Raptors women. In this event, I first of all want to share with you the performance of the home team based on recent events they have had. You can see that they do concede and they do score as well many goals. That of its opponent, on the other hand, is also good at scoring as well. And you can see that 3, 1, 1, 6, and 2 goals per event. And you can see, based on the performance of the home, the proof that they are very good, especially when they come at home. The opponent, on the other hand, also proved that they are good at scoring when they are away. Now, of course, looking at the stance based on these two, this is the, this is the fourth round of this tournament. And looking at this table... First, you're going to see Prague Raptors. They have had three games, five goals scored and five goals conceded. Hadrek, on the other hand, have had three. You can see two goals scored and six conceded. They are not defensive. They are very, very conceding. And of course, because of this conceding power and average power of scoring, we want to look at two major picks in this event in full time. For this particular event, both of these two teams have shown the performance of them to have the ability to score. And because the defense of both sides are not very strong, this is going to be an advantage of goals possibility to occur here. But first, I want to look at the last head-to-head -head these two teams met this same year. At the month of May, they actually met and Raptors beat its opponent up to five goals is to zero. This time, they are still coming again to meet in this particular tournament. And Raptor is going away and its opponent is now coming home. This time, of course, Two of these teams, that is both of the two sides, we want to impress this time. And looking at the fact that the last event, Raptor beat its opponent up to five goals is to zero. Of course, its opponent now is coming home and it might want to take that revenge and also try to impress. As a result, we want to look at goals possibility here. At least 1.5 going full time or two goals over is our major picks for this event. Looking at the next, we are looking at Europe, that is UEFA National League or Nation League. A match between Portugal against Scotland. First, the performance of Portugal based on recent events have shown that they are average in terms of recent game they have had. Looking at that of its opponent as well, on the other hand, the proof to score at least per every event. Now, of course, the performance of Portugal at home, you can see they are good. Scotland, on the other hand, proof that they do concede so much in recent events they have just had. Now, looking at the stance based on the placement of these particular tournament, which is the second round, you're going to see that Portugal have had one event and they have scored two goals, conceding one. Its opponent, Scotland, on the other hand, have also had one game played, scoring two goals and conceding up to three goals. And everything in place, we want to look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular event, based on the recent game, two games being played by Scotland, which is the away team, they have proved to concede a lot of goals based on recent event for the two games they have had. And of course, Portugal being its opponent, which is coming home, have proved that by every game they try to see how they can score at least one to two goals in every match. And since this tournament is just starting, both of these two want to impress to see how they can have or secure better place on the stands. But Portugal in this event have a better position for them to see how they can lead by more impression in this gameplay. So of course, we want to look at Portugal to lead in full time, as well as we want to look at the possibility of at least Two goals to occur in this event in full time. That is 1.5 goal in full time. These are our two major picks for this particular event. 
The next playlist is going to be in the UEFA National League still, but this time a match between Sweden against Estonia. First, the performance of the home team, which is Sweden, as you can see here, have proved that they tried to score based on recent event they have had. You can see 3 to 1 against Azerbaijan and Serbia, Denmark, and Albania, as you can see, Albania. Its opponent, on the other hand, also, of course, you can see the performance based on recent gameplay. But you need to note that based on this event here, Sweden has mostly had event, especially in the friendly international. And you can see friendly international, friendly international, most of the event they have had. That of its opponent, on the other hand, have had event in the UEFA National League itself, the Cup, and also in the friendly international. First, I want to look at the comparison, the match being played by Sweden, comparing to that of Estonia for these two are very, very different. But first, before I share with you the differences, I want to look at the performance of Sweden at home based on recent event. They are very good at home, as you can see, based on recent event they have had. You can see the rating that shows that they are very good. And looking at that of its opponent, on the other hand, they prove to concede a lot, especially when they play at the way. First, I will share with you the stand. And looking at the stand here, you're going to see that based on the stand, this tournament, of course, is just starting and it is a second round of this particular tournament. Sweden sits on the first position. You can see its performance. They have already grabbed three points and sit on the first place. Estonia, on the other hand, is in the third position. They don't have any point here, but of course, this is the second game they are going to play. And looking at everything or everything in place, want to look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular game play, Sweden have proved that for most or even all of their events, they have mostly had recently at home they are very, very good at home, offensive and defensive. But that of its opponent, on the other hand, have proved that they concede too much goal, especially when they play at home. Therefore, want to look at Sweden to take that home advantage, the fact that they are very defensive at home and also very good in terms of offense. Looking now at the next, you are going to notice that Sweden, on the other hand, have mostly had games in the friendly international. But that of its opponent have also had games in the friendly international. But its performance in the friendly international is very poor, especially based on recent events they have had at the way. But that of Sweden, on the other hand, for the friendly international game they have had, their home performances have proved to be very good. Also, of course, looking at that, the performance based on Sweden for recent events they have had, the stands show that they are in the better place. And of course, they want to maintain this stand. As a result, for the fact that they want to impress by keeping this stand and sheet, they want to still stand on the first place of this table. So want to look at Sweden to have more impression rate trying every possibility to lead this match in full time or the possibility of at least 1.5 goal in full time. Looking at the next event here, we want to look at Germany in the Obeliga Hamburg. For this event, the match between Hamburger SV against Sassel. First, I will share with you the performance based on recent game played by Hamburger SV. You are going to see that the recent game they have had here have proved that they concede too much of goals. You can see 6 7 2 uh, three and four, they do concede and they have had a lot of losses. The opponent, on the other hand, you can see they are very, very offensive and they do score between two to three and even four goals per every event. Now, looking at the performance of the home team at home, they still do concede too much, but that of the opponent, on the other hand, as you can see, Sassel, based on recent events they have had, they prove that they can also concede that much between three to four goals per each event based on recent events they have had. Now, looking at the stand table here, I will share with you the form table based on recent events for this particular tournament. And this is the seventh round. Looking at this, first, I want to share that for Sassel. You can see that for five events they have had based on recent gameplay, they have had 11 goals scored and 12 concede. That is an average goal score rate of at least two, but the conceding power is also great. That is, they are offensive and also not good at defense. The opponent, on the other hand, even proved to be, to be very, very, very conceding. And as a result, the conceding power, Sassel want to take that advantage. Now, looking at the performance of these based on form, we want to look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular gameplay, of course, the home team have proved to concede a lot of goals and they are very conceding. Even at home, they proved to concede between two to three goals and even four goals per each event. The opponent, on the other hand, as well, have proved to be very conceding as well, even though based on recent events they have had, they have shown that they are offensive based on recent five games play. And of course, looking at this, the weak defense of both of these two sides and the average offense of that of Sassel want to look at goals possibility here. 
the home team, since it is coming home, it might want to impress in this particular tournament. And since this is the seventh round, of course, it might still want to see how they can grab good position on the league table. And the away team will still want to maintain it form, then goals possibility is our major option here. So want to look at two major picks for this particular event. 1.5 going full time or two goals over. The next pick here is going to be in the Obiliga Hamburg of Germany, a match between ETSV Hamburg against Mbutele. For this event, the recent performance of Hamburg, that is ETSV Hamburg, have proved that they are very good. You can see a very highly offensive team based on recent event they have had. Its opponent, on the other hand, have proved to also be good. And of course, now looking at the performance of the home based on recent event they have had at home, you're going to see that they are very offensive. 972. That of its opponent, on the other hand, have shown that they are also good. The performance now, looking at the stance rating on form, you're going to see that these two here have proved to be good, especially ETSV Hamburg. For five event play, they have had four wins. You can see 28 goals scored and five conceded. Its opponent, on the other hand, have also proved to score goals and they are good as well, and the defense not very strong. Now, looking at everything in place, we want to look at two major picks here in full time. Firstly, for this particular event, both of these two teams have proved to be good in terms of goal scoring. And for each event, especially that of the home, they try to score between two, three, and even four goals per each event against teams which are not very strong or defensive. And now, looking at this event, of course, the away team proved that the defense is not very strong, making the home team to try to take that advantage of not strong defend of its opponent. That is the conceding power is average and as a result since that also of the home do not have a very strong defense both of these two will want to see how they can impress and the defense which is not that strong will cause goals possibility so want to look at goals here possibility 1.5 in full time or two goals over and to those of you who want to have access to our hand-picked match prediction events which we share to members only as example top prediction events for the premier league bundesliga top corner kick events top events for 1.5 and 2.5 goal, which we always share to members only, then of course you want to make sure that you join this channel to become a member of the Level 2 Pro plan and start to have access to all of these matches which we share to members only to take your winning to the next level. And to those of you who want to access all our members only video, then of course you want to make sure to come to our front page of this channel like this and locate the home table as you can see here, the home section. We have video section, the short playlist, but you want to come to this area that says home and click on the home. And once you do that, you are going to see this area that says members only video. Then, of course, you can see the most recent videos we publish to members only. They are listed in this area. And very soon, we are still going to release another list of top 10 over 1.5 and 2.5 goal games for Sunday and also top corner kick events. You can see... We just recently also uploaded that for corner kicks, top 5, 7.5 and 8.5 corners, also top 10, 1.5 and 2.5 goal match picks. And now we are preparing to release another top 10 based on 1.5 and 2.5 goals and also based on corner kick event. To those of you who want to have access to all the games we share to members only, then of course you want to make sure to join to become a member of the Level 2 Pro plan and start to have access to all these matches which we share to members only to take your winning to the next level. The link is below this video description. You want to click directly on it, subscribe as a member of the Level 2 Pro plan and start to have access to all these predictions to take your winning to the next level. Good luck and see you again from the inside and bye-bye for now.